I'm very excited about the prospect of artificial intelligence in imaging. In the non-interpretive space, non-interpretive AI features, which I think are going to make our workflow much more efficient. We will be much less likely to create these reconstructions ourselves, which is time consuming, or call over to a CT tech who is very busy and ask them to create the reconstructions. So in terms of artificial intelligence on the scanners, I think obviously true fidelity is the prime example of reconstructions that have really changed the way we look at images. When we initially got true fidelity, some physicians even felt uncomfortable looking at such a clean image. I think we've gotten used to it now and we're just expect these clean images that we're seeing. Tougher cases are really something that we now take for granted with the Apex. We used to be able to scan high BMI patients suboptimally and with very high radiation doses, both of which were highly undesirable. And now we just don't see that. We just take it for granted that we can scan these patients at reasonable radiation doses and get adequate quality images, whether it be due to the gantry size, due to the increased MA flux of the machine, or true fidelity, we're able to get good quality images with higher BMI patients. We're able to get the patients situated, comfortable, and through the gantry faster. So patients who are unstable and cannot hold their breath have much lower respiratory artifacts than we've experienced in the past. These are things that I think we almost take for granted now. We just see many fewer of these cases and fewer patients that need to be rescanned or who end up being radiated and having non-diagnostic exams. You're really only scratching the surface in terms of what's out there. So I think it's very encouraging that GE has invested in artificial intelligence because I think it'll help us to fully harness all that information we get from scanning the patients.